Welcome to Movies Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube, and I am at the car wizards to get three swift kicks in my manhood today. Uh, well, my financial manhood, and that's because I have three hoopties up here. My recent purchase, my 1966 Chevrolet Corvette 427 is here. I delivered it to the wizards a few days ago, but we didn't have a chance to properly go through the car, which we will today. It does run, but it's been sitting for five years, and the previous owner had some health issues before he could completely finish the car. The shifter's not put together. It's got a Tremec 5-speed in it, but still it's a Nassau Blue 427 coupe. Absolutely incredible. Behind it is my Lamborghini Diablo VT Roadster, which is uh, finished. Well, they're, they're never finished, but it may be finished, and it really is going to be close to finished because in the Bentley Azure are my Lambo wheels with new tires for the Diablo VT. I've used this as a parts hauler before with the Mercy Lago and the bumper. It's a great parts hauler, but it's also up here because it's leaking mineral oil. The mineral oil runs the whole system on this car for the brakes and the suspension, and they love to leak. If you've seen the old videos with my Turbo R, you'll know, well, it does this, and now the Azure is doing this. So a lot for the wizard to make money on. I guess we'll, uh, we'll get started. Wizard! 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 What's going on? Well, a lot. What? What do we? Ha Why are there tires in here? Well, I needed the Bentley fixed, and I've hauled Lambo parts before. It worked just fine for that. But this is John Claude Van Damme's Azure. Yes. Well, that you don't means just throw tires in it. He used to haul his dogs in it. There's pictures of that. Oh, okay. I guess it's okay then. What do you think you're doing? Well, hauling Lambo parts. It's not a truck. It it works. It actually fits back here somehow. I was kind of surprised, actually. Any sudden braking and I would have been, well, dead, but oh well. <laughs> Probably got some strange looks on the cruise up here, I bet. Yeah, yeah, but sadly it's leaking mineral oil. I know, shock, right? Oh my god, it's leaking mineral oh, oil. imagine that. Yeah, yeah, it's leaking mineral oil, so we need to look at that. Uh, but I'm more excited to see what you think of the 66 Corvette. Mm, I've been rubbing on it quite frequently. Oh, okay. At a medium pace. Well, and I guess what, Magic Mike, you wanna you wanna mount these up because yeah. I may be driving that today. I've really never had a chance to drive the Diablo Roadster because the tires were so horrible on it, and then it started leaking from that steering rack. So this may be the first opportunity. Well, the alignment will be messed up, right? It should be pretty close. Well, it's the first time where I can actually drive without worrying. So uh, I guess I go right. Yes. Wizard, I don't know what's more exciting, that, this, or, well, not, not that, but one of these two. This is like my dream American sports car right here next to my dream supercar, and I have both. I like the Diablo the best. You do? Yeah. Man, I don't know. This is just such an icon here, and it is so beautiful, and it actually runs, Wizard. That's what's insane. It actually runs? Yes. Yeah, so I brought a battery for it. I was a little bit of a wizard myself. I put it in, which is disconnected. I'll take that off the carburetor. But obviously, not the numbers matching 427. Hmm. It's been breathed on a little bit. It's been loved on. We got a modern ignition system, aluminum radiator, yeah. power steering. Mm -hmm. He made this to be a driver. But he did a good job. It looks like your clutch is not gonna work though. This, no. That's a pretty nice Craftsman extension. I'll take that and put it in my toolbox as soon as we're done. Okay. It's supposed to go there. Okay. So that's going to the clutch reservoir. Yeah, and then here's our... This is actually the pressure line to the clutch. Mm. That's not hooked up. I have no brakes either. No brakes? No, sir. Well, this is the brake master cylinder here. Hmm. We'll have to see why. But uh, listen to this. It runs good. It sounds good. On five-year-old gas, it's running like that. I can just hear it burning the tires now. Yes. And power steering, that works. I have no tachometer. Oil pressure's good. The clock works. Wow. But as you can see in here, and I'll turn it off. Yes, um, so, Things are a little incomplete here. Oh my. We have the shifter mechanism here. 
Okay. And this is how basically it was. It was sitting like this with the Allen keys and then the bolts for it were just hanging out ready for it to go back on. So with it's the, like the guy was working and then his health went bad on him. That's apparently what happened. Okay. But uh, yeah, modern Tremec 5-speed in here. It did have a 4-speed. I guess he swapped it out because it couldn't handle the power and it was starting to whine and forth. Oh, man. So a modern Tremec would feel really, really good. Mm -hmm. And it seems like it's close. Like, really close to being done. It doesn't seem like it's too far away. It definitely needs this steering wheel in place of that. Oh, the original steering wheel? Yeah, that there looks like... That does look right, doesn't it? That would look really, looks really apart. good. Yeah. Certainly would. So, yeah, the shifters here... There's there's bolts all over the place, so it's a little bit of a Humpty Dumpty scenario. But I'm curious what else you see. Anything good or bad? Draining the fuel out of it's going to need to happen. Yeah, it's obviously. definitely going to need to happen. Your tachometer very likely quit working during the installation of the 6AL ignition system there. It just needs to be wired in. Okay. It looks pretty nice, though. Hmm. Yeah, I thought so. The seats are decent. I bought it, yes. Yeah, yes. I suppose you did. It's here. And it came with a bunch of extra parts, including a, a glove box door, which I haven't looked at yet. Oh, but. wow. Another thing I'm wondering, Wizard, is if this Nassau Blue is original to the car and if it's original paint, which underneath the dash here is a trim tag. Yeah. It says 976 paint code. 976. Yeah, 976, I did look it up, and that is indeed Nassau Blue, so that is the original paint code. But also, see, look at the door jams and all this. It looks like original paint to me. I don't see any tape lines. I don't think any of the trim's been out it for a repaint. It looks original to me. I'm just noticing little chips down to the original fiberglass, and it just doesn't seem that thick. There's some little scratches here that looks like it's original paint under there. Yeah, there's no masking line. No masking. Yeah, there's a few little scratches and things, of course, and then there's this damage here where somebody would have backed into something and it would have cracked the fiberglass underneath. Yeah. But it doesn't look like it's been fixed. And I also noticed some cracking up here, which is real common on these when the paint's original. You can't paint meter these because it's fiberglass. Right. But just looking at it, it may be original paint, Wizard. It may be. It's beautiful. It looks like the, the water's looking out of a condo in the Bahamas or something. <laughs> it is it is beautiful. If it if it is original paint then that's awesome because you definitely want to leave it as is with the little warts and all because how many original paint 66 big blocks right. are, are left in existence. Why do you think my brakes don't work? I don't know. We'll have to take the reservoir cap off and see if there's fluid in there. Does it just go to the floor? Yeah, nothing. No response at all. That's odd. Previous owner Ken left us these. Oh, wow. This is what sat on the fenders for four years. There's a cart full of parts over here, including the original air cleaner, which it wasn't the uh, high horsepower one, but still That's originally funny. a big block, yeah, 390 <laughs> horsepower. I imagine it looks like more with the exhaust and everything else. Ooh. So there's nothing in there. Ooh. There is, however, a foil, which doesn't need to be in there, from a brake fluid bottle. Get that out of there. I'm curious to put fluid in it and see... Why is it emptied? Is there a big leak somewhere? Or... Hmm. We'll have to fix that, that's for sure. Okay. That's why you have no brakes, because there's no fluid. Well, a pretty simple braking system, right? Yeah, we'll probably want to upgrade that, because it's a single circuit for the whole car. Yeah, there's antifreeze in there. Oh, good. It's about All three right. quarters full. And it has oil, because there's oil pressure. One thing that surprised me, though, is the gas smelled okay. It's obviously old, but I know you like to smell things. Give that a whiff. I feel like I'm smelling its bunghole. It smells like good gas. They put stable in it. It works. Stable works. It works. I still want to drain that fuel out probably. Yeah, right? he probably will want yeah. to do that. Okay. Well, all good news here, I suppose. So There's far. Not anything hidden that I'm worried about uh, just need some reassembly and i think it would be ready for you to road test it okay very good well the azure definitely has some nasty surprise going on underneath uh, some mineral oil variety so maybe we'll take a look at that yes let's do it oh we've been down this road so many times before with with bentley's but uh 
This one's only had one repair on the mineral oil system, I think, right? The pumps? Yeah, the pumps. It was the other one, the Turbo R, that really just ate our lunch. It looks like the power steering reservoir, one of the hoses is starting to leak there. But I don't think that's your puddle. There seems to be two things it's going right on. Here. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah, that's... Is that green? Yep. You know the taste of it, I'm sure. It's coming from the reservoirs. See the hoses going up there green? Coated? Oh, yes. So yep. it's up high. Yeah, so we'll lower it back down again and see what we can see up there. These rubber hoses, you see where they connect to those steel lines down there? Yeah. They go up and around and down, and I think those hoses are just weeping through the hoses. Ah, because it was super wet on those hoses. Yes. Beyond that, and it loops up and down. and it goes down by the, where that big leak area is. So you think it's pooted there? I think it's some hoses. It needs some hoses. Hmm. And the power steering hose will be coming from this reservoir on the bottom. All right. I think some hoses will fix this. So not serious? No. Okay. They're not special custom fitted lines or anything? No, it's just standard oil hose. Hmm, well, not bad on, on either of these really, huh? No, not too bad. We can head on into the office. I do have a Diablo bill to write up. Oh, okay. So, yeah, all, all three, like I said. Yes, three. Comes in threes. Yeah, Magic Mike's getting off the lift. Yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Almost time. Wizard! Hey, what's going on? That looks like Nassau blue water, huh? Yeah, that Corvette's really got me thinking about a high-rise condo in the Nassau area. The Bahamas, huh? Mm -hmm. For $5,295,000, Wizard. It'll be a good down payment, <laughs> that's for sure. I don't think so. Not with me selling off Bentleys, there's, there's oh. no way. Oh. oh, that is beautiful. Oh, wow. Yes. That Nassau blue Corvette is definitely not going to get you a Nassau Bahama condo. There's you don't no think way. So? There's no Corvette that would get you a condo like that. There's no, there's no way. <laughs> okay. Well, I have to dream. I have to have a dream. Okay. Before. All right. So I got some prices together on all three cars. Wonderful. We'll start with the Nassau blue Corvette. Yes. Original paint. Isn't that yeah. crazy? Original. Beautiful. It's just like the ocean right there. Yeah. Same color. Yep. To reassemble the clutch, it's probably just a couple hundred bucks. There's no parts needed. We just need to hook up the hoses and bleed the clutch. Nice. Okay. Reassemble the interior, probably four or five hundred bucks. Mm. There's quite a lot of... Some of that's custom work. We'll have to figure out how did it go together. And it Makes sense. Time. Okay. Drain, refill the gas, a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. That includes the gas. It's not a big deal. The tack and the wiring, a couple hundred bucks to sort that out, see mm -hmm. what happened, why that didn't get installed or correctly or whatever. And just to finish it out, probably 250 bucks. just check it over, check the fluids. And then we'll look into adding a dual circuit master cylinder. Okay. And that'll probably be five or six hundred bucks. Hmm. So right. Right, right around two grand for the Corvette. That's... Okay, that's wonderful. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. I think it's going to not be bad at all. Wow. The Bentley is an even better story. Okay. Just to replace some hoses and replenish the fluid, 350 bucks. That's... That's the cheapest Bentley repair ever. Yeah, it's just standard hose and some, <laughs> some more fluid. This is a great day, wizard. Okay, well, Lamborghini, there should be some money there, right? Yes, Diablo. We pulled apart all the interior pieces and sent them off to Sticky RX for you and had that done. Mm. And that took quite a bit of labor, mm. very careful labor. Yes. 600 bucks for that. Wow, yeah. The steering rack, the cost of getting it rebuilt and everything, plus the labor is 1500 bucks. Mm-hmm. And then the fluids, we did all the fluids, we did transmission, differentials, engine oil, brake fluid, all those things, 750 bucks. Yeah. All together for that is $3,100. 31 well, that's very reasonable. I, mean, I almost spent that much fixing the sticky buttons. Yeah. And then I almost spent that much on tires, so that's, it, it is adding up, but your part is, is it very nice of you, Wizard. Are you all right? Are you feeling sick? That, that Corvette has really got me in a Nassau mood. Just oh. Calm and He's happy. I'm so, on the beach already. So I owe you for... I don't want to do math. How much is that all together? All three cars will be about $5,500. That's, that's a lot of money, but I don't have to pay it all at once. Right. So I just need to pay for the Lamborghini, Lamborghini and then get it out of here and drive it. And drive it home. And dream about the Bahamas. Oh, wizard. Looks like it's ready to go. Oh, wizard. Yes, the wheels are on.
Yes. One of the caps is that ninjas need to do an alignment as well. Okay, yes, it needs to get alignment to get it perfectly dialed in. Okay, well, thank you, Magic Mike. Anytime. And thank you, Wizard. Yes, we were happy to write a bill for you. <laughs> well, I've rewarded Magic Mike with a, a Bentley. Oh, boy. Aren't you excited? Always. He hates them, doesn't he? Uh, I don't know that he hates them. He actually has a patch on his shirt. He does. It's his least favorite patch. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to ride off to the sunset in this. Oh, my God. Oh, that sticky button thing looks great. It looks wonderful. Wow. The moment I pulled outside, I knew I had to take the roof off, and it's the easiest roof to remove as well, especially compared to the Mercy Roadster. It's that stupid toupee thing. And we're off. <laughs> we're more than off. Well, take a turn here. Oh, it's so nice to have good usable tires. Oh, <laughs> and even though it does need an alignment, uh, the steering wheel's a little crooked. It drives so much better, so much better. Oh, this car's amazing. Now I'm gonna have to make some really hard decisions here because three Lambos and that Corvette. There's no way I'm gonna make it across the finish line with taxes and everything with all those cars, so. Oh, man. I don't know what I'm gonna do. First, I'll tally up the costs. I guess that'll be in another video. For now, I'm just gonna enjoy this finished Diablo. Thank you for watching.